Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. You can subscribe down below. I am in the best mood ever. I've just been listening to really good music. I haven't even had my coffee yet and I'm in a good mood. Like, what is today? And it's a Monday. Anyways, I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys. I asked you guys on Instagram to submit questions. So make sure to follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn to be involved in the next Q&A. I wanted to make it kind of back to school themed since this is my last week back at home before I head back to school. I don't really know what the questions are, but a lot of you guys have asked me some questions and we're just gonna get into that. But yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm in a really, really good mood. I get in these moods sometimes where I'm just like fully in just feeling my best self and that's just how I'm feeling right now. So I just wanted to sit down and film a video. I've been doing so much traveling and I couldn't be more thankful for that. Um, I went through like, I don't know, like a week of like kind of just not feeling good about myself, my YouTube, my everything, um, not feeling confident in my own body. And then today I just had this like switch, like I am who I am. Like I am working on me for me. That's literally my background right now. It says, you guys cannot see that. It says work on you for you. I don't know if you can see that. I just had this realization like only you can make your change. Only you can make yourself happy. And I am really happy and I'm really proud of who I am. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Just hopefully that inspires you guys. But anyways, I'm going to answer a ton of questions. Um, a little low down. I know I've given this a little bit. But just if you guys are confused. Today is Monday, July 29th, and this Friday, August 2nd, I head back to school. I'm gonna be a junior at University of Georgia. Um, my, at UGA, we do sorority recruitment before school. Actually, this year it kind of overlaps with like school, kind of. Um, but we, if you're already in a sorority, you go back a week or two before to practice and kind of get ready. So that's what I will be doing. And then my first day of school isn't until August 14th. But I am so excited to get back at school and move in and do a whole, it's gonna be fun. So, let's check the gram to see what you guys have been asking. I'm also not wearing any makeup today. I just didn't feel like wearing makeup and I hope that's okay with you guys. I know it's okay, you guys are chill. Um, but I was just like, I could put on makeup but I'm going to spin after this, like why, why would I go put makeup on just to film a video? Like, I try to be real with you guys and my skin's not the worst right now. So, yeah, just so we all know. First question says, are you very involved in your sorority slash do you wish you were? I'd say I'm like pretty involved. Um, I wasn't really sure where I'd fall on that spectrum just because I'm pretty busy. I'm not on any exec position. Brooke did that, I don't know how she did. Brooke did PR for Katie and I've helped with that. I helped with the recruitment video and different social media things. But I, I honestly just can't give it my all to be a physician in the sort, even though I would really like to. But I go to all the events. I mean, I've not gone to a couple because I've been out of town. Um, but I do recruitment. I've never, like, got an excuse to do out of it. I go to a chapter. Like, yeah, I'm really involved. All my friends are... a lot. Most of my friends that I met are in my... Most of my friend group... My, my biggest friend group is in my sorority and then I have my like hallmate friends and just random friends I made at UGA But yeah, I'd say I'm pretty involved advice for incoming college freshmen I've got a video coming up very very soon about a ton of advice like just like logistics and just random little things But my biggest thing is go into your freshman year knowing that like you are on the same Playing field as absolutely everybody else Everything's going to be okay if you don't feel comfortable at first Just know that everyone else feels the exact same way and on the other side of that It's okay to like introduce yourself yourself to people because everyone is wanting to make friends and just kind of you know just go full force and just be like hey what's up I'm Sally like they'll be like honestly probably really happy someone talked to them I'm not even kidding and just have fun I didn't have as much fun freshman year as I should have I was like so stressed about I was like really into YouTube at the time and I just I wish that I had more fun freshman year. So have more fun for me, please. What are you most excited for this semester? Oh, the list could go on. I have so many reasons. One, I'm rooming with my best friend and that's going to be awesome. We are living together. It's, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know. I'm like almost worried for us because we're just gonna have far too much fun. We're never gonna leave the apartment. No, we're gonna leave the apartment. But um, that's one thing I'm really excited about. I'm excited for game days. I turned 21 in September. I'm really excited. And then my boyfriend's birthday is like two days after mine. So we have like a whole birthday weekend. And the Notre, the day, the Notre Dame game is that weekend as well, which is, it's always like a big deal when a school plays Notre Dame because I don't know why. It's just like a thing. Um, so that's just going to be a really fun weekend. My brother's going to college and he's going to be an hour and a half away from me. So we're going to like see each other more, I feel like. And I just like finally feel my best self. There's a spin studio opening up in Athens. So I'm gonna be like really working out a lot more. Cause I tried to get into Orange Theory cause that's like all we really had. And I liked it for a while as you guys know, but spin is just where it's at for me. And I'm so excited to like literally live like three minutes away from a studio. 
Um, so yeah, and I'm finally in my major, so I'm gonna be taking fashion merchandising classes, brand management classes, like I am just, it is, I'm so excited, and now I'm like having to start this realization, like, oh my gosh, like, I only have two more years left of college. Like, what was I doing the first two? I don't know. How do you start off a semester right and stay productive? I've been thinking about this because I want to, you know, hit the ground running. I want to start right. Um, you know, Google Calendar, a day designer, planner. Those are my two essentials for just like logistics, like to-do lists, everything like that. Um, I think the biggest thing is like when you first, this is something I always do like during syllabus week. When I first get my syllabus for each class, I write all the dates in my calendar so I'm aware. I do my first homework assignment right away. I think the biggest thing is to not start the ball rolling of like, oh, we'll do that tomorrow. Just go home and do it that night. So then the next day when you get more homework, it's not piled up. Um, just like little things like that and just kind of starting off with a good mindset and just ready to conquer the year because let's be real, you always start at your best in the beginning of the semester and you kind of go down from there. So just start at a really high note so that it, you can't get that low, you know? So a lot of you guys are asking what classes I'm taking and I don't think I've like said my full on schedule. So I'm just gonna pull up my schedule really quick because I want to read this to you guys. So one of my requirements for my major, I have to take a public speaking class. I'm honestly kind of excited about it. I don't think it's gonna be super challenging for me. I think you do have to write whatever you do public speak, which will probably be kind of hard. Um, but I love public speaking. I don't really get stage fright, so I think that'll be really good. So I'm taking an intro to public speaking class. I have to take an intro to family and consumer sciences class. It's just like one credit. It's very simple. Um, and then I'm also taking another, actually no, this is a three credit class. This is Family Economic Issues Through Life. It's another requirement in my major. I'm getting a lot of the requirements out of the way because if you guys didn't know, I just changed my major. So like I'm having to like catch up a little bit. Then I'm really excited about this class. I'm taking a fashion promotion and visual merchandise class, which will be awesome. It's actually with my professor that I had this last semester that really made me like fashion merchandising and want me to change my major. And I'm still on a wait list for two classes and I'm just praying that I get off of them during um, ad drop week. I'm, I'm not really worried. I'm on the wait list for a global sourcing class and then um, retailing apparel and textiles. And I'll just do one of those. And then I'm also in a professional development for fashion industry class. So that will be really fun. That's like a night class just on Wednesday nights. And it's a really useful class. You like make your resume and you just do different things. So I'm really trying to like, like I said, hit the ground running and get after it. So I'll be doing about 14 credit hours this semester if you guys want to know. I'm still kind of waiting. So I'll obviously do a first week of school, college week in my life. You guys know how I do it. So I'll probably be updating you guys then on, you know, what classes I get into and everything like that. Staying healthy in school, a lot of you guys ask about how to stay healthy, whatever, I don't have all the tips, but I will tell you what I'm doing moving forward. Delaney and I, since I have a roommate this year, we'll be able to like cook together and it's like, I don't know, I hated like cooking alone, it's kind of lonely. I mean, sometimes it was fun, I'd like listen to a podcast or watch Netflix, but like, it's gonna be fun. Delaney and I were like, we're gonna keep each other accountable. I think what we're gonna do is like, maybe on like Sunday night, go to the grocery store, get a ton of stuff, meal prep. I mean, I don't even know if she knows this, but this is what I think we should do, Delaney, is like meal prep, and like make like a couple meals so that we can like have them throughout the week or like we're always gonna do HelloFresh. I'm a big fan of HelloFresh. So we can make those together. Um, and yeah, for breakfast at school, I usually just do an oatmeal or I really do love toast. Dave's um, Killer Bread is my favorite. Um, and yeah, and I love me some green juice. That was really random, but yeah. So I'll develop that throughout the year. <laughs> It's hard in college. I, I I have to say, what is the one dorm essential every freshman needs? This I hate that I'm even saying this, but I remember one thing that I wish I got that I think I got halfway through the year in my dorm was a super long iPhone charging cord because you don't want to have to like hunch over. I don't know. It was just really nice to like have a super long cord so I could rest my phone on my bed so I could like hear my alarm in the morning. Um, that was like a really essential, that was a big essential and also a fan. Um, my roommate and I freshman year got like this huge Dyson air purifier So it also purified our air. So as soon as we got that we stopped getting sick We were like perpetually sick for like months. I feel like cause it was just all this gross air So we got that and it was also an extra fan in our room um, And we also got two like beanbag like little cubes and they were really awesome for when friends came and Sat in our room. So those would be some I suggest. Are you scared that living with your best friend is going to mess up your friendship? We talked about this, I thought about this, and I'm just not worried because we have traveled so much together and we basically lived together. Like, we obviously didn't, but we were always together. We're always together. We always talk. Um, and we're pretty upfront with each other. I'll just be like, no, Delaney, like, stop. Or, like, she'll be like, Danielle, like, that's stupid. Or, like, whatever it is. Like, we're pretty upfront with each other. 
Um, so I'm really not worried. Um, and if it starts to become a problem, then we'll talk to each other about it because it's not worth losing a friendship. I, I, I think like this far into the school year, like into like, like we're juniors. Like I think, I think we're chill. How do you look good for 9 a.m.s? Um, 9 a.m.s are my favorite. I love a good 9.30, um, if you can get that time slot. Um, but I usually just go for some sort of athleisure outfit so you kind of look put together. And if I'm just like not in the mood, I'll like put on a hat and I feel like you look kind of like sleek. Um, but honestly, no one's trying that hard for a 9 a.m. So just you do you, just be real. How to balance school slash boyfriend slash friend slash workout time, etc. Girl, I feel you. I think I balance everything pretty well. Obviously, like Brooke and I were talking about this in our podcast. If you don't subscribe to Gals on the Go podcast, what are you doing? Go subscribe good podcast we were talking about balance and we were talking about how there's always gonna be one you know thing in your life that you probably like have a little bit more you enjoy more you want to do a little bit more um but i think there is something called a healthy balance and i think it exists and it's possible um for me like like for my obviously like not everyone has a youtube channel and like has a podcast and everything but what i'll do is like i'll try to do most of my youtube podcast stuff on the weekends get that all done and then have it like edited and uploaded ready to go throughout the school week um that's not to say i do edit during the school week as well oh you do want to come say hi i'll now. come say hi real quick oh wait this is oh i was looking over here hi. hey how are we all doing this is my brother he's about to yes. be a freshman in college are you excited what's one <laughs> they all know who i am you know they know i'm why you're famous this is I've kind of shaped you like a shapeshifter would do to a hamster, like in the movies. You know, incredible. You are caffeinated. I am caffeinated. Um, <laughs> iced coffee is not one of your things. Also, there's been rumors about me starting a channel. I just wanted to put all those to sleep. Uh, You're not like, starting not a channel. A thing, but my friend Mateo is, so I'll be able to put that link in my Twitter that I haven't created yet. She's not gonna put <laughs> any of this in the video, so it's okay. But um, yeah, have a good rest of your right. uh, week. Hey, it's Monday fun day, baby. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what I'm saying. Oh, I take a step back. Like how often are you hanging out with your boyfriend or your girlfriend? How often are you with your friends? I think I think that you have to make your priorities and then go from there. Like my priorities are obviously school and like mental health, and then you go down from there. And but with mental health comes being with my friends and family. Um, I guess during the school year I'm not really with my family, so like being with my friends, my boyfriend, and everything. And then um, also with mental health comes working out. So some people like mentally it's really great for them to work out like four times a week like for me i love it it makes me feel really really good but then other people they are completely content just going for a walk with a friend and like that's good so i think you just it's like obviously per person but the biggest thing is just being able to say no how do you have time to watch tv it's so funny there's a point in my life where i was like i don't have time to watch netflix and i really i really do enjoy watching a good show i enjoy it's, it's kind of nice and therapeutic for me to honestly like kind of put myself in someone else's life and just kind of like not think about my own and just kind of have some entertainment. Over the summer I've had a lot of time. I've honestly gotten into so many shows and I don't feel guilty about it because I know when the school year hits, it's hard. But during the school year I still find time like to watch TV and watch Netflix. In specific, like I find at night, my way to wind down is like watch one show or something. I don't really know, it like kind of gets me sleepy and it's just really nice to just kind of end the night. I know it's not the best for your eyes or whatever, but um, it is good. So I always find time, or like if I'm folding laundry or if I'm doing, doing something that's kind of mindless, um, then I'll watch it. I think we are going to end it there. This video is so long. I really enjoyed talking to you guys. I hope this was enjoyable for you. Make sure to comment down below any requests that you guys have in the upcoming weeks of videos you want me to film. I'm really into filming sit down talking videos where I talk about a topic or I answer questions or even like a chit chat get ready with me, but I'm also gonna be doing a ton of vlogs. Um, I just wanna keep it versatile. So yeah, comment those down below, but I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon for our next video.